Ambo was there? Dokenya o. How are you? Mish? Mish? Me? Dayawa o. I am doing fine. Watahi uh, hawi. It's January. And it's always going to amba. It's always going to be amba inumba. So I'm not going to say it because we're always going to have it on a Tuesday night, right? Um, for our week two, I have introductions in Nakoda. Um, I'm only going to give you three three ways to introduce yourself in Nakoda. Our first way to introduce ourselves. I like this. I'm going to have to write really big. Uh, okay. I don't have my whiteboard with me, so I have to go get some paper. So one of the first ways. I like to introduce myself. I like this because it's very, very easy to say. Nemia. Nemia, Teresa. This is me, Teresa. Nemia. Um, another way is your name. Can you guys see that all right? Or is there too much glare? Yeah. Yeah, I see it perfectly. Krisa Imagyabi. Hey guys. So we just had a whole slew of logins here. So uh, I just want to oh. let you guys know, apologize for the technical difficulties that we had earlier. Um, the Regina Public Library is the one that hosts these sessions and they had uh, attempted to try and troubleshoot and try and get to the room, but they just couldn't. And so um, I quickly uh, left my event that I was at to come and open this session up for you guys. So Teresa will be going until 8.30 uh, to give you a full hour. If you do have to leave before then, don't worry, we'll, we'll have the recording of the class up on our YouTube channel, so you won't miss anything. Thank you. Oh, and I guess I suppose for, um, for those of you who are just tuning in, um, I've done this for a couple of years, and I find that teaching language structure, teaching um, sentence structure, teaching teaching all that's not producing speakers. I went into my high school for um, six weeks while our high school teacher was away, or our middle years teacher, and I planted this language bowl that we have borrowed from the Fort, Bel Fort Peck tribe. I think why should we try to invent reinvent the wheel let's use this good it's good usable material that's why i chose to use this i know that this is not our orthography but with that said every community has a different dialect so i'm just taste, teaching you the basics that i know on carry the kettle here um, we went through the sound system real quick sound system last week that's up on youtube Kristen has it up on YouTube. Um, this week, oh, and then we went through some of the common phrases that'll be up on YouTube. That was these phrases right here on the, I'm not sure what page, but it's in the, it's in your handout that Kristen also sent in your emails. We went through all those phrases. Week two, I have um, introductions in Nakoda, so that's what I'm doing now. And then um, we have a special guest tonight that we're going to do some dialogue later. So it's not the elder. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to go on. I said simple ways to introduce yourself. I always use this because for me it's simplest. Eh? Namia. Namia, Teresa. This is me, Teresa. Um, Teresa Imagia B. Teresa, they call me. That's what they call me. Teresa is what they call me. And my last one. Me charge Teresa. My name is Teresa. And you can say me charge whoever you are. There's a um, few other ways, but I, I, I thought three was, you know, a, a good start. So three ways to introduce yourself. Nemia Teresa, Teresa Imagiabi, Machaje Teresa. Oh, I also have, um, we can go on to say, um, for me, I live in Carry the Kettle. I see Travis there who lives in Hushu. 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 Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> 
So he can say, I'm going to say, Chechat in NYT. And I'm telling you, I live and carry the kettle. And um, other than uh, Regina, I don't know how to say. We have words for St. Loda. We have words for Indian Head for those of you who live in St. Loda and Indian Head. And then I always say, I'm sure that you guys are all Nakoda, so Nakon Jamacha. I am Nakoda. Daya, Mushte? How's that, you guys? Um, I know I don't have the whiteboard this week. It wouldn't fit in the back of that little car of ours. Um, so did any of you have, I've got a couple of emails here that I'm going to go ahead. We talked about, um, I'm going to give you usable words, right? So Sister Brown has asked me, I'm trying to write these as big as I could. A couple of words, so I'm going to go ahead and do Sister Brown's words for her. These are good ones here. I could probably even show you the TPR for these. Those ones, anyway. Send. Should have bought them. Um, find. Oh, and then I also want to show, share for those of you who have children to some uh, some usable phrases that you can use at meal time. Teach. Our first one is walk. That one's an easy one. Money. And when I use TPR to teach my children, I'll just, money. I'm walking, right? Money. Our run. Daga. How did I spell it? I usually don't, because I read, I teach the children, I'm usually um, not one about caring about how I spell them, but Aktaga, and I'll run like this when I teach the kids. When I'm teaching them Mani, Aktaga, and I'll sit down and clap my hands, Hinachni, Hinachni, and Hinachni is to hurry, so they'll run fast as they can. And I, would, I just throw that in there. Stop. Stop, I simply go, inaj, inaj, and everyone will stop. Send, Sister Brown, yek ia, yek ia, yek ia, yek ia. Kungu shiktu huhu jubina yek ti. No, uh, let's see. Why I sent a letter to Regina. That's what how would I would use that in the thing in a sentence. To find Sister Brown? Yeah. Huh. Huska 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 uh, Yeah. I lost my pants. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being bullish, you guys. Sorry. I lost my pants, but I found it. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I won't be foolish, you guys. <laughs> to teach Uzbekia. Uzbekia. This is a nasalized U. Mm. Remember when I was telling you your nasalized vowels? A, uh, E, U, uh, U. Uh. Spec. Yeah, Uzbekia, to teach something. Did you get those all down, Sister Brown? I'm just gonna flip it over. And I'm going to um, learn. Can you see it like this? To learn. 
And to learn, we say uspe. 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 Ah, me, me, ah. Me who a who a be gaha uspe umaspe. My mother taught me how to make banak umaspe. See, so, yeah, I have to conjugate that verb. And conjugating verbs to me is like really hard because we've got three sets of verbs that we can conjugate, but we'll get into that another time. And help, Sister Brown, to help is ogia. 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 I'm, I'm um, putting my thing on there because this is one of them. Um, usually, Nakura to uh, rule of thumb is the second vowel is always hyphenated. In this case, this is um, an exception. Hmm? In this, in this case, this is an exception. Our first vowel is uh, hyphen. Okay. Our stressor is going on that. And it's called a stressor because. Um, Amba is another one like that. Because this one here is easy to say because we don't say Amba. Um, we say Amba, um, right? So that's one of the ones that are the um, ones that have the first syllable accented and there's there's a few of them Is that what's going on at seven? The band hall? No, just, I don't know where she is. Oh. Teresa, are you there? Okay, we may have lost uh, contact with uh, Teresa. Um, give me one second. Okay, I'm just gonna update everybody. Okay, so Teresa had lost contact. Um, her network wasn't very strong where she is, uh, but she'll be logging in right away. Okay, we'll see you in a bit, Teresa. Okay. I apologize, you guys. Um, I wasn't uh, expecting this much um, <laughs> technical issues this evening. Uh, but Teresa will be logging in right away here. Hi, so sorry, sorry. man. Talk about a night of technical difficulties. <laughs> um, come here, Gua. Do it. Ichu. Eat. Woda. Hatiwo. Excuse me. Maku. Give me. Ia. Go. Tin. Ia. Go inside. Tagan ia, go outside. Iwash denach ia. When I when I taught my students this iwash denach, that X, that H at the end, like it's um, I think it means to go very very slowly. Iwash dena would probably be to go slowly, because when that H is used, it means like when we go wajinach. It's meaning only one. So I'm gonna say this means to go very very slowly, from what I understand. Iwash denach ia. Hinachni? Hinachni. To hurry? Iunga. 
Junga. Minchungsh. Junga. Just kidding. Anama hopta. Anama hopta. Listen to me. Due. Who or look? See, I don't. Uh, for me, due would mean um, who. I would say akida. And here in Carry the Kettle, we would say akida to look. Um, look out, they say iuwa. You have it here in Carry the Kettle, I would say wakta. Wakta. Now, wana. Sit down. And again, sit down. Iodang. Iodang, that's the sign, Iodang. Someone can't get in. Deb. Um. Nen Iodang, sit here. Nen Iodang. Jetchi. Iodang, Jetchi. Nen is here and Jetchi is over there. So sit over there. Jetchi Iodang. Winjak. Winjaka says in here. And that's to tell the truth. Kinamaya. Thank you. And there's another way. Kinamaya. And that means I thank you. Kinamaya is general thank you. But when you say Kinamaya, I thank you. Wana woda, we use that at lunchtime. We tell the kids, Wana woda, lunchtime, dinner time. Eat now. Iknuta, iknuta. Let's to try it. You try it. Hyang, wait. And then we have Oraru. Oraru means to wake up. And last week, if you remember, I said that. Um, in the morning time when my dad would wake us up, he never said, oh, unless he was shaking us, he'd tell us to wake up, right? He would say, Gikta, wana Gikta, get up now. Um, I wanna give you um, some, thank you, some more usable words. Um, I seen this, um, <clears throat> our, Head Start teacher um, shared these things, um, a, a thing about teaching your child to um, to speak during uh, mealtime. So I took it and I translated all these things into Nakoda. So let's do our requests first. And this, for those of you who have, um, you can even spell requests. Um, for those of you who have children, this is the perfect opportunity to use these words. Mak'u, give me. I'm not going to write the English at the end of them, so if you want the English, you guys can um, write, write it as um, I say it. Asambi wachinga. I want milk, right? And these are just, you can, uh, taspa wachinga. I want an, an apple. Taspa ri wachinga. I want an orange. Hochnach yabi wachinga. I want coffee. Uh, coffee sometimes is, um, Pejuda sub, some some places call coffee pejuda sub sub. Um, woda watching, I want to eat. You know, you can put different verbs in front of this watching to say I want, and I'm going to give you some of those verbs as well later on. Um, what was the, oh? Shkoshkovena ake maku. Give me more bananas. Bananas, again, give me. Give me more bananas. Nah, this, 
מקסה או מגיה. This cut helped me. Help me cut this. If you'll notice, Nakoda, the, um, the way it's translated doesn't, for, for um, fluent speakers, if, if, I told you every, if I told you how everything was translated, it's not going to translate to what you think it's going to. Um, different people say Nakoda is backwards, and I've heard lots of Nakoda speakers say, no, English is backwards, so I won't get into that. Wana woda yaknushta ha. Are you done eating? Wana woda waknushta ha. Do you guys want me to write that down? Yeah? You can go through. Okay. I don't know if I could write it that big. Wana woda. And the ha, I'm using that ha. That's a marker. Wana woda. Oh, are you done? Sorry. Yeah, knushta. He. He is that question marker. Don't even need that because that's just a question marker. Now, eating, you finished. Are you done eating? Wana oda ya knushta. I'm going to give you some verbs. Those are just questions that you can use at mealtime. Those can be changed into whatever you use. Some people are lactose and don't use milk. I'm going to give you some verbs now. As you know, Nakoda is a verb-based language, so we use a lot of, a lot of verbs in Nakoda. Yatka. My sign, yatka, to drink. I should have bought a marker. This is not running out. That may never do one. But... Woda. Woda. Again, sign. Woda. To eat. Yushpa. Yushpa. To open. Yushpa. Yushpa. I'm going to go close. Nataga, Nataga, and like Yushpa, to open, to close, Nataga. Maksa, I thought we talked about cutting meat. Maksa could also mean To cut, to chop, maksa, to cut or chop. Washpaya, uh, washpaya. When you guys are cooking, the women are cooking, washpaya. They're cooking, washpaya, to cook. Washpaya, yeah, washpaya. And that's nasalized. Did you hear that when I said washpaya? Um, when you put something like, um, oh, 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 you got the, uh, I will da be a gun. Kne. Kne. To put something, right? Kne. Put your plate on the table. Oh, 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 you got the, unless it's going to bother you. Yep. Okay, that's to put down, sorry. To put down is iknaga, iknaga. I know this is to put down. Iinjuna awodabi iknaga. Put your cup on the table. When we put something in something, it's oknaga, oknag. Oknaga. Oknaga. Um Injune Hochnachyabi Adaha Iknaga. Put some coffee in this cup. Okay. 
um, when you're giving something, when we say, give me, like I told you before, mak'u. But when you're giving something, you're yak'u. You're giving it to them. Yak'u. Chinchabi ni tawaja. Asambi. Yak'u ha. Did you give your children milk? Yak'u. Um, to get something now, I'm going to get Owagini. Owagini. I get uh, Mini Owagine. I get water. Owagine. Owagini. Sorry. Owagini. I get, oh my gum. <laughs> to throw, to throw away something. There's your nasalized I, your H with a cap on. See how that sounds? And that's to throw away. To enjoy. I was kidding. I threw my husband away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I spent the day with uh, adults, huh? so I mean with children. So just kidding. You ja ja. I like this when my um, children at the school ask if they can go to the bathroom. Huh? Weksuyesh nambe you ja ja wo. Don't forget, wash your hands. I like telling them that when they go to the bathroom. Yujaja and Nambe Yujaja is a good one. Wash your hands. I have a labeling now of nouns. We have our fork. He chopped something you jab with. He chopped our knife. Mina, not like water. Mini, Mina, Mina. Our plate, yoga. Yoga. And then I'm going to tell you about our go our bowl. I'm going to say yoga. Shkoba. Our plate, yoga. Our bowl, like our banana. Shko, 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 banana. It's curved. The shkoba is the curvedness they're talking about of your bowl when it's curved like that, so it holds. It's not flat like your yoga. It's a yoga shkob. It's a curved plate. Spoon, kishkan. I'm gonna put do a different. Kishkana. Spoon, kishkana. Kishkana tanga maku. Give me a big spoon. For... Sorry, Kristen, I said your name. <laughs> um, Witka. Witka. Eggs in the morning when you do breakfast. Witka. Witka. Eggs. Meat. Meat. Tano. Tano. We're going to talk about bacon. Our bacon, we're going to call Gagusha Tano, our bacon. Pig meat, Gagusha Tano, our bacon with our eggs. We're going to talk about our toast now. Ahu Yabi Saga. Something that's dry, dry bread. Ahuapi saga, toast. Our soup, wahambi. Wahampi, soup, wahambi, soup. Sorry, I was hanging out with the Dakotas and Lakotas today. Wahambi, soup. When we talk about bannock, ahuabi inkje, 
Ahuabi is Jeff. Do you guys, um, You know, um, you hear when they say prayers, uh, winchash, winchash da winchja. Um, you know, common, common, common bread. When we talk about sa, shta shta, shta shta, uh, uh, winkni zi is a, winkni zi ja. Shtashtaha is the margarine or the butter soft. Hard suda suda. Um, asambi asambi suda hard milk cheese right asambi suda hard milk. That's what it's that's what it translates to, but it means cheese. Kada to be hot. I'm just gonna go here. Kada, hochna ya bi janina kada. That coffee is very hot. Tagan nina kada amba. That's kind of a lie because it's winter time. But today it was hot outside. Tagan nina kada. Amba nen tagan nina kada. This day it's very hot outside. Osni. That's a better one because it was really cold over here today. Osni to be cold. Tanga to be big. Remember when I told them I asked for a kishkara tanga? I asked for a big spoon, tanga, to make everything big and small. Juicy nan. Juicy na. Now I'm going to go on a little bit further about the small, the juicy nan. When we talk about um, anything that's repetitive, small, we add ana to it. A N A. Um, Shukshana, baby fox. Shuk, buzana, kittens. Um, see? Shunk, shunk, shunkshana, uh, like, uh, I guess that's a fox too. But that's what we use to add. Um, I'm going to share a resource that's going to explain this better. Like what I'm doing is just giving you usable words. Um, where's my, my helper? How much time do we have? I'm not even watching my time here. 8.04, we got like 25 minutes. So, do you guys have any questions before we move on? Anyone have any questions? Come Feel on. free to unmute yourself if you guys have any questions. So, Art, can I get you to give us a handout of all these words you're doing? They're coming so fast that I can't even write them down. Um, yep, I've got copies here. Um, I'll see you on Monday. I'll give you a copy on Monday or whenever you, the next time I see you at the school. Pino Maya. Huh. Anyone else? Did you, did, did, did you? Okay, oh, there's a chat. How would someone say, how would I ask? Oh, many you ha ha. If they have a drink of water, yeah, many you ha ha. When we talk about ourselves, I'm always ma. When we talk about anybody else, you're usually, I, it's usually a ya. Mia, nia. Does it make sense? Because in some of them, they're there. Yeah, but mia. Mini nuhahe. Do you have water? You could ask for. You could ask that several different questions, several different ways, which is um, like as I said before, um, Nakoda is a descriptive language. So my teachers, um, in, like in English, you can describe things several different ways. And I guess the hardest part of teaching Nakoda is the different dialects because. Nakoda's been at a standstill for quite some time now because we've always had people saying, oh, that's not how you spell it. That's not how you say it, you know? So um, what I'm doing is just giving you the basics. We can go talk on, we can talk for days about the different the difference in dialects. Um, and again, I'll go back to why I use this is because they have the phonetical writing right on here that helps you understand better. 
if you can see the phonetical writing, the word, how it's said, and then phonetically written. And I really like that for first time learners or people that you're trying to get to speak, they understand it better. I teach the younger kids, so I usually just spell the words as I hear them because I don't, and, and it bugs me because when I have to hand something into chat or to whoever that my hire, I have to check on my spelling and, and I don't worry about the spelling. Um, we are going to move on to our, oh, Kirsten. We are now. This woman here, this is my Kirsten. Um, we've got some dialogue. Is there anything we've got? Uh, actually, I've got some greetings. And um, the greetings that I have written down, they're men greetings. Because we've had men in the class, I will make sure that we tell you the difference. I am going to be, oh, I will be the woman. Or you, want me, you be the woman, because you're, you be the woman. You, you do this as a woman. Do this one? Yeah. Huh. And then you'll yeah, say this yeah, one? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. Ha. Huh. Ha, kana. Women, that's a man's term again. Women, um, I wish I knew the reason why. I wish I could tell you. I don't know the reason why. I've asked a few people. When I was younger, I made the mistake of calling my brother my friend, my mom. My brother was coming down the road and I asked my, my mom asked me who was coming. Oh, uh, oh, my friend is coming. I told her, man, my mom got mad at me. That's not your, that's not your friend. Don't you ever call him that again. I got scolded. So I never used the word again and never asked why. So I know that kuna is a man's word. So huh, kuna. How are you? I am doing well. I am fine. It's good to see you. Oh, it's a nice day. Amba washte yuha. Have a nice day. Amba washte uyuha bikta he. Now, with that said, I'm going to share with you this uyuha bikta. That's conjugated. We're going to talk about uh, just real quick about conjugated verbs here. Where is that? Amba washte uyuhak biha. And it translates to, are we going to have a nice day? And this, ooh, you have to be. Ooh, that's all of us, right? All of us. Are we going to have a good day? Ooh, you ha, to have, and our bikta. It hasn't happened yet. We're, we're, um, what's the word? Futurizing it. It hasn't happened yet. But we are going to have a good day. That's what this means. Ooh, you ha bikta. Explains the Uyuha Bikta a little bit better. Oh, we're done. Okay. Sorry about that. Are we, are we going to have a nice day? Kinamaya. I thank you. Oh, sorry. Kinamaya. I thank you. Kinamaya. No. I thank you. And that's male. They said the no after. Kinamaya. No. That's what the males use that word, that term. No. Mitakona uh, Pinamayaya. Thanks, my friend. Well, Pita Tanga Chichu, no. I give you grateful thinking or thanking. Imnanakt. Imna, sorry. Imna nakt. And he has no at the end, so a man must be saying this, which is meaning that he's going to leave now. He's departing now. Like, and I'll see you again. Again, a male speaker because of the no. Um, we don't have a word. First Nations people don't have a word for goodbye. They simply say, I will see you again. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go back to the Amba Washte. Don't have it up there anymore. Um, 
when we speak, um, when I say Ambo Washte, I know I'm one of those people that use Hayaka Nawashte. As First Nations people, we don't use Hayaka Nawashte or good night, like we don't use those terms. We simply use Amba Washte, that um, embeds everything, our respect and all that. We're using good morning or good night when we're translating English terms. Um, I made the mistake of using Hayaka Nawashte with one of our elders in the community and I, I, I was scolded. Um, you don't say that, she told me. And as an English teacher, I mean, as a Nakoda teacher with language evolution in mind, um, I think I was being very disrespectful to her. Like, you know, I should have, um, I should have paid more attention. Like, and for sure, what I was doing is taking that, I'm taking English and transforming it into Nakoda. Um, I mean, that's fine if you're, you know, if you're teaching, I guess, but like to, to, to greet an elder that way, um, never, I would never use the Hayaka Nawashte or I, I do say Hahebi Nawashte to her and she doesn't seem to mind that. But then again, my, my argument with her was that, you know, back in the day, when we go through the days of the week, Friday, for example, um, I use Amba Izapta on Friday and in here it says, Kano Yudabi Shi Amba, if you go to your days of the week, and that's the day we don't eat meat. Uh, another another um, conversation with an elder is, oh, my people said that long, long time ago, she told me, huh? But I mean, my people, my ancestors ate meat on a Friday. It wasn't until the black coats came that we took up this term. So that is also a language, uh, language evolution, you know? Same as, um, you know, we have words for whiteboard, white, no. Uh, words for a computer, those are those are an evolution of language because we didn't have those back in the day, you know? So, uh, I'll leave it at that. Aka um, u, come again. Mi chungshi doken ina ninkta, ina ninkta. My daughter, where are you setting to go? Opetua imnam ninkta. I am setting to go to the store. Nakon Iabi Doken Iabi. How is it said in Nakoda? He. Oh, sorry, I forgot that. He. Nakon Iabi Doken Iabi He. How is it said in Nakoda? Okay. See? When I talk about verb conjugation, if you have a look at this here, there's your three sets of verb conjugation. There's your three sets of verbs that we conjugate in different ways. Last week, I showed you a book about one way to translate, to conjugate a verb. Verb conjugation is like, and we're just learning the basics, so that's why I'm keeping it simple. Um, I will share these resources at the end of my 10 weeks class. This is actually um, a book that, um, Vincent Colette made. And I, um, Vincent is a great resource. Do you want to pass me that book, please? The lesson book? It's under that book there. Yeah, no, the other one. Yep, it's right under that. Again, yep, that's the one. Again, I like this book. Again, I bo this book is borrowed from my relatives down in Fort Peck. Um, Travis, if you ever have a moment or you ever, um, I'll share this with you because I think that you would really understand this. Um, these books can be available, they are available right here. You can send away for these books. And these books are excellent. I don't know why I seem to, um, I understand these books better like because it's how my parents talked. Um, I don't know. I, I just really enjoy the, the Fort Belknap and the Fort Peck stuff because, um, like I said, it's, it's, it's how my parents talked. So, so that, was, that was our second. I gave you some, um, some words. Some more words, the, 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 the eat, the drink, the labeling. Um, 
so while we're talking about the labeling and that, one of the things that we never talk about are the demonstratives. Je, ne. Oops. Kinkna. No, not spelled right. I'll just spell it like that because that's how it sounds. Kinkna. Uh, this, that, and. Give me another, another demonstrative. Jess, Jetchi, Nechi, over there, uh, here, over there. These things are like important because you, if you notice when I talk Nakoda, let's see, Uyanja, Chuiknaga, Sha, that woman is wearing a red coat. Oh, Nechi. Oh, nechi u, come here. Yeah, that's how I would use that. Nechi u, come here. Shucks. You know, you guys, I'm so sorry that I jump all over. I've just got so much to teach you. Like, you know, I, I, I just, I just want to teach it all to you. Like, you know, um, that's why I asked if you have any questions. I'm going to look back through my, um, Oh, right here. So last week, oh, la next for week three, we're doing simple phrases and dialogue. I introduced yourselves. We'll do some simple phrases and dialogue. Um, because we started late, I'm going to finish here. If you guys have any questions, you guys, I gave you my phone number. Um, Please ask ask me um, if there's anything that you want me to include, like Sister um, Brown did. She went ahead and um, emailed me the list of words that she wanted. I would really appreciate it if you wanted to know phrases or words. So this is going to open up our question part of it. If you guys have any questions, they're giving me they're 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 look going like this at me, so I'm thinking we have four minutes left, right? Um, so let's, let's, any questions? I was going to say, ask me. No, I'm not going to articulate that right if I say it like that. Um, I'll make sure I know it next. I'm going to say it wrong. How would you say good night? Ha hebi washte. Ha hebi washte you ha. Have a good have a good night. Daya ishtima, sleep well. Hobesh, don't snore. Just kidding. Um if someone's asking for your phone number again. My phone number? Please don't write it on the bathroom walls. Kidding. Uh, 306 <laughs> 69. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. 306 660 0185. And my um, email, I don't know if you can see it, I'll write it up here. My email, OHT866 at gmail.com. We have another question. So how does a woman say hi, friend? Um, in Nakoda, that's why kinship is very, very important in Nakoda, because that's how we, um, we refer to the people that we're speaking to. And if we're not related to them, then we'll find a way to um, find a way to be related to them. We'll find um a way to address them so that it's not disrespectful. That's why the Nakoda kinship is very, very important for each of us to learn. But man, I've watched Tom Snow explain the Nakoda kinship at least five or six times. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I get it a little bit more every time. So if you'll notice in this language nest, we kept the kinship terms very, very simple. 
because gosh, there's your cross cousin from over here. What what is really really um, stressed, I guess, in this is that your mother's sister is your Inanna, but your father's sisters are your Tui. Your dad's brothers are your Adena, but your mom's brothers are your your Minikshi or your Nikshi, your uncle. I guess that would be the biggest one. And I always, uh, my cousin Diane, she'll always come in and she'll say, and I can never say it. I remember when Miss Frida was alive too. I could, I would always say, Michishipa, and those are your female cross cousins. And then I noticed that Vincent has it that it's your, um, your, your male, your male. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to have to reread re re that because it's been a while since I looked at that. But I know that's not, that's not how. Um, Vincent refers to it. I'm not saying it's night, right? I'm not, I'm not saying it's night. Teresa, sorry. Um, so I was kind of looking over. So like from a male aspect, when I'm addressing my female cousin, is it Mihangash? Yes. It is Mihangash? Okay. Because I know that in that book, it, there's a different, um, yeah. different words for different and how you're addressing your female and your male cousins and stuff yeah. like that. So I was just trying to confirm that it was Mihangash. Yep. And Tahashi would be my male brother in law. Yep. Yeah. Brother in law. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um at at um one of the things that I was taught, I know that we have um a name for your um adopted children. When I was growing up, um we were taught that we didn't have adopted children. They were our children. There wasn't a word for it. They were yours. You know, you took them as your children, so they were your children. That's what my mom, my mom and dad practiced. So, but there are words for that. Donna? So, Teresa, is Justin here? So, like, although you're my friend, then you're saying I can't address you. Like, if I said Amba Wash Day, oh, Mina Kona. You can call me, you can call me that. I, I just, the women just don't use that term. Okay, just I check because I mean I'm always like that, just on Messenger and stuff. Even just with the friends that I have, right? Me, Tacona, I'll just always pull it out, right? Because you're my friend, right? Well, I don't know. I call you my Mitoshka. I take you more like my nephew than my anything huh. else. So that's huh. that's me forming a relationship with you, right? Yeah, because the only other one I would think because we always use uh, me to go Guyabi, right? Like yeah, my, my relatives, relatives. Like my relatives. Mm -hmm. So you could use that too, kind of, right? Because it's mm -hmm. it's a general and a relative. Because you are a relative, right? Yeah. Huh. Pinamaya. I'm kidding, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> you, you understood me, right? <laughs> huh. You're on a roll tonight, actually. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just like foolish tonight, man. I like the part where you said, don't write it on the bathroom walls. And then you said, just kidding, <laughs> laughter. <laughs> it was good. You had too much Pepsi. I know. I <laughs> Pepsi and wine glass. No wonder yeah. I'm not foolish. Um, the sugar high, hey? But no, you, like I told you a messenger the other night, you, you've just, you, you've come a long way and it's just awesome compared to your first classes there three years ago or whatever. So no, it's awesome. Yeah. You're rocking it. Yeah, because you know what, Justin, from, from the, my first class to now, the Nakoda in me is like grown tremendously and uh, a, lot yeah. of the, a lot of the resources you shared too. So pat yourself in the back too. Uh, Nino Washte, yeah. We, some of us, we've been working really hard. That's for sure. Uh-huh, uh huh Winjak. Oh, okay, Wana. Oh, oh Hanag. Just kidding. <laughs> um, it's just about nobody else has any more questions. I want to go the whole hour, and we've got five more minutes, you guys. Uh, Maxine said, so can I say how me does ya be then? Yep. Yes, that's very, very good. But you wouldn't say the H A U, that's the man's term. We say our ha huh, like this here. Um, right here, I'm gonna go. We just simply, and that nas that A is nasalized. Can you see that? Huh. Huh. That's what, you, how you're spelling it. That's a man. That's, that's yeah. men talk. And drop the B on the end, right? Because if, if you're just talking to one person, right? Yeah. 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 When you're, because when, B is yeah. plural. Yeah, you haven't talked about that yet. So like if I was going to say that, I would say, and I would be, because I'd be talking to all of you, right? Wish day. 
if you're talking just to one relative, you and you would just draw ha me doggy up. Huh. Yeah. Good question, by the way. Was that Maxine? Yep. Yeah, that was a good question. Yep. It's like you form a relationship like and I know I don't I don't know. I'm next time. Uh, Justin, have you talked to Peter lately? Uh, he, he, uh, okay, maybe that's someone that's maybe that's who we could ask about the, the uh, friend. Diane didn't know about it, but she just said that. Yeah, we well, wanted to use that. Yeah, yeah well, crazy. you've noticed too, like every community is different, right? Yeah, true. And then every every elder or parent too, they kind of because it's how they're taught is what we're mm -hmm. learning, right? And I know you've been scolded a few times. I've been scolded a few times. And it just, it depends who you're talking to. I mean, yeah. it's how you learn. But ultimately, it's how it's been passed down to you. And you said that was your mom to you, right? So that's just her mom, probably, or someone close to her did the same thing to her. Yeah, right? maybe, and I maybe think... being disrespectful that I was calling my brother my friend. Like, you know, I don't yeah. I, I don't know. Because our one chat group there, I know, I think that was Sarah MacArthur that asked about that, but we were talking about the how you cannot wash day, just what you're talking about, yeah. right? And like, it's so common just to say good morning now because then it's more specific. And like you said, yeah. from a teacher's point of view, teaching it in the class it makes sense to use that because mm -hmm. i don't know how else to greet my students in the morning right but yeah we're figuring yeah, same, it out. same for me and yeah. um i went i went and um, my sister celebrated her 80th birthday this year and the elder was there and he got up and he spoke and he said that um language is changing he said and yep. he he um he kind of offended me, huh? So I waited till after he put his pipe away. Then I went to talk to him. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, I told him, um, <laughs> how, how, how come we have to say it's changing? How come we can't say that it's evolving? Yeah. You know? So here's the good one, like even today. So there was posted on that Abi Nakon that I think Sarah was asking about foods. So I know Tom added some stuff and I added some stuff from Fort Peck Dictionary. And then from our, uh, Vincent's book too. And then uh, Mike, uh, Michael Turcott reached out to me a messenger a little bit later in the morning. And he kind of just noticed how there wasn't any uh, uh, markers or di dialectic markers on some of the words, right? Uh -huh. And so we started talking about that because Wynona always said, we have to go back in time to these people that were sharing the words and who was typing them out on a typewriter because there's no inflections or marks on the typewriter. And that's just how they record it. Because Wynona gets a lot of her stuff from, uh, it's Ken Ryan's book, which you have, which yep. we've shared already and have mm -hmm. too. But that's why some of those words are missing some of those, like the markers on them, right? Because it was whoever was telling that word or said that word might have not used that marker, number one. And then whoever was recording it might have not recorded it uh, with a marker on it either. So it's just... Yeah, it's so different from community or speaker to speaker too, which is fine. And that's why I like that approach that you take, we're, the phonetics and just, we're trying the best of how we sound this word. But the one we talked about in class, a good one was like, uh, ia, go, mm -hmm. or ng, uh, rock. How, how would you say rock? E. Mm. E. Yeah, okay, a rock, See? a rock. But they're spelled the same. They're, they're spelled yeah, yeah. the same, right? It's just the markers on them. So it's like you got to be careful now when you're putting that word down. It's just, it's just an example, but yeah, yeah. It was uh, what yeah. was it today? Berry soup. Okay. But listen and... to me. But listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Nasal yeah. for rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So speaking, it would be different, but then like, think about if you're writing that down or had to type it with a typewriter, like you wouldn't catch that possibly. Yeah. Hey? Unless, yeah. yeah. Cause would, yeah, the other ones it. today were berries. In the context in which it's used, right? Yeah. Berry soup and gravy were the other one. Cause they're both wojabi, yeah. right? Yeah. Both the same words, but depending where, it's, yeah. Anyways, I'm hijacking here, but. Well, it, it's like, um, <laughs> it's like September and coffee or tea. Huh. Oh, right. Bay. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the month that the, the month that the leaves turn and then walk Bay. But because walk Bay, it tea our leaves. That's yeah. why we call it. Yeah. And that's the descriptive. And that's why I said mm -hmm. so important. I like how you break down the words, because if you start to learn to break down that word, you can see that root in there, which is good. Yeah. 
yeah. yeah and when you listen to it like travis when you sent me that when you sent me those um those um recordings of herb like that that verb conjugation is like wicked in those things yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's... you hear that like i had to i listened to it like i don't know how many times and it wasn't until he turned sent me the second one that i knew that he was talking about the um uh, digging up the ground with his harrows like yeah so yeah i had to listen to both of them to understand the first one so yeah and it, and sometimes you don't hear that root word because they're speaking so quickly yeah you're but you're right though the way um nakota how everyone has different dialects and different ways to say it so i'll get you know learn stuff from you and then matt and then i'll be like all proud and i'll go to say to my mom and mom would be like she'll correct it the way that she was taught you mm -hmm. know it's so crazy i'm just like okay <laughs> I'll just but, but don't, let, don't, don't let that discourage you you keep learning and you just take every word that that you know take all three words and and, and keep all those three words like you know yep don't 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 get discouraged because there is no wrong way travis. oh for there sure yeah 100 no, no but i understand what travis is saying so yeah take those three words but i'm just trying to learn the one word or the root word <laughs> I of guess, it. Huh? Three, three different nasals or inflections and like yeah i know i hear you i hear but you choose the here easiest on one choose the easiest one because your mom hopefully is going to be around for a while and you know after you're yep. more comfortable and you can go back to her because we all have somebody that we can go like you know from what i teach you guys you guys all have somebody that you can go back to that can help you like you luckily we we know because you know they say that we don't have any speakers but if you honestly think about it i'm going to be 60 this year my mom and dad talked fluent when i was a kid there's how many people out there that are the same age as me that are silent speakers and we we know this like they can understand but they refuse to speak yeah you understand yeah, yeah. travis i was thinking about what you said too i always find like sometimes out of those three words you find one that just kind of sticks too and then like Teresa saying like kind of go with that one right because it just kind of sticks better than the other one. And I found that kind of just roll with that and it helps. Yeah, it but, does. And then um, did I show you guys this to help you? Um, when I went down to a powwow a few weeks back, Mike Turcotte took me to my safari. No, no, um, Marty. Google the Cinnaboyan, a Cinnaboyan dictionary. You got that one, Justin? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did not even yeah. know about that. Indiana <laughs> one, yeah, that's really yeah. good, yeah. So then you go down to the second one and then you get this page. Now look at this, any word that you type in up there in English will give you the Nakoda translation too. Oh yeah, that's the one that Justin shared with me. Yeah, see, I did not... Um, but now, man. I just learned that, I just knew about that, so I'm sharing it with everybody. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm sharing all my secrets. <laughs> They're always like, hey, that was quick. How'd you share that word so quick? Uh, now you know. <laughs> yeah, well, well Marty, yeah. uh, Margie showed this to me because um, JR had texted me and he um, wanted to know how to say stick. Now, we know that cha is wood, right? And then if we use the ana on cha, well, we're not going to be saying nice things, right? So I didn't know. So we, we told him to use the iute, iute, the yardstick one, right? So I went down there and I talked to Mike Turcott and I said, like, you know, how do we say stick? Well, think about it. Cha is wood, huh? Yep. Cha sagana. The sagana, like toast. Ahuabi saga. It's dried, right? So the stick would be dried, but it's smaller. So cha sagana, you know, something that's soft, but continually small, a dried, a dried up stick. Like when he explained it to me, like, well, why did I get that? Like, you know, so I think we're, we're, we're wrapping up. Oh, and how do you, I'm grateful. Uh, Nina Wopina, Wopina to be grateful to um, Joe. Oh no, Joe. Yes, the Assiniboine Dictionary. If you do the Assiniboine Dictionary, it'll be the second one that pops up, and all you do is click that one, and it, it'll get you to that page that I showed you. Well, thank you, Justin. You're so tech savvy. <laughs> I have to help. I have a helper here all the time.
Okay, I think that's going to be, no one has any more questions. I'm not trying to slough you off, you know, I, I missed my Gahomni already, so we could stay here till night if you guys want. I'm kidding. I wanna, yeah, I want to try that. I was, uh, Pinamaya Dokasha Gi Vachimna Gekko no. I always want to try and practice that and say it. Yeah. Pinamaya Dokasha Gi Vachimna Gekko no. Is that Dakota? Yeah. Uh, is that Dakota with the D? So it'd be no cash. Yes, we will talk again. Uh, how a K U E a Vinte? Huh? Right? Yeah. How a K U E U E a Vinte? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, abicta. Huh? And then watch him to get no. Until we meet again, right? Yep. Ah, a heavy wash day. Ah, Amba Yushnashten, Ake Yuhana, U Abikta, Ake Yuhana, Wachim Naginta. In seven days' time, we will talk again and I will see you all again. Wash day? A heavy wash day. A heavy wash day, Yuha Yuhana. Daya Ishtimawa. Oh yeah, ha ha be wash day do do a new new ha, because that's everybody. Good night, everybody. Ha. No. Ha ha be wash day. Ha ha be wash day. Ha ha be wash day. Thank you, everyone. Okay, we're team nagging. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening. We'll see you next week.